Hello, my name is Tabo. Um, I'm just going to talk about reentrant circuits. Okay, a reentrant circuit which uh, occurs uh, in tachycardias such as AVNRT, which is AV nodal reentrant tachycardia, or atrioventricular nodal reentrant tachycardia. Okay, so now. Um, just briefly the normal conduction system in the heart okay so um, here's your heart okay please use your imagination I'm not such a good artist okay All right, so this is the right ventricle, the left ventricle, left atrium, and right atrium. Okay, so now um, we've got here a vessel, a superior vena cava. Okay. Then we've got an inferior vena cava, okay? So now, the superior vena cava is the one that transports blood that's coming from the superior part of the body or the upper part of the body and drains all that venous blood into the right atrium. And the inferior vena cava takes the blood from the lower part of the body or the inferior part and then drains it into the right atrium so that it can go to the right ventricle and to the lungs to be oxygenated okay now at this junction where the superior vena cava um, meets with the atrium or combines with the atrium we have got um, these cells here and that is our SA node okay or sinoatrial node that is one that fires impulses okay so the impulses travel and activate uh, both atria and then the impulse travels down to this region and that is our AV node okay and then down the his bundle down the left bundle branch and the right bundle branch and then to the Purkinje fibers which then activate the ventricles okay so that's how a uh, normal conduction occurs first sa node then av node and then the his bundle and then bundle branches and then Purkinje fibers all right that's just um, the normal conduction okay so now let us see what happens during re-entry okay so um, here's our normal beat from the SA node okay so let's draw our AV node there, our his, and then our bundle branches. Okay. Now, in order for re-entry to happen, okay, for a re-entrant circuit to exist, we need two pathways joined together by conducting tissue. Okay. Now this is during normal activation okay so this is the normal beat coming from the sinus node the normal impulse and then here at the AV node you will get two pathways but every uh, individual differs some have dual AV nodal physiology meaning they do have two pathways and some don't so but for re-entry to happen there has to be two pathways okay so now though when this impulse arrives at the AV node it is going to travel via two 
um, the two pathways. The one um, goes like that, and that is called the slow pathway. Okay, so this is the slow pathway. And then the impulse is going to travel via the fast pathway, okay? Fast pathway, okay? Now, for each pathway, there's something very important that you have to remember, okay? So for the slow pathway, there is a short refractory period while for the fast pathway there is a long refractory period okay now a refractory period is basically the the period during which the tissue is unable to receive another impulse it cannot be activated okay now the impulse comes here and travels in both pathways however in this pathway it goes slowly while in this pathway it goes fast okay so by the time it arrives here it's able to conduct down the his bundle and to the bundle branches okay and then activates uh, the ventricles it's going to try to go this way as well but when it gets here it blocks because this is still refractory okay so it's unable to conduct that way which is good that's normal conduction okay so the beat the, the impulse comes travels in both this side slowly this side quick and then as it tries to go up it blocks can't go the this is not ready to take an impulse okay to receive that impulse it's still refractory so that's normal um conduction all right that's normal now let's see what happens when an extra beat comes in in a patient with AVNRT, okay? Now, an extra beat comes in, okay? Now remember this beat, so your heart keeps going nicely and then an extra beat comes in, okay? Now, that extra beat, it's going to come in while this is busy conducting okay just keep that in mind it comes in while this is busy conducting so what's going to happen it's going to try and conduct down both pathways right but remember we said the fast pathway has what has a um a long refractory period which means when this extra bit comes in, it's not um, ready to receive it. So let's just write it here. It's an ectopic bit. So it's not ready to conduct because it's still refractory. Because it's got a long refractory period. So the, imp the impulse will block the, right? And then, okay, um, this extra bit says here. <laughs> Okay, you think you've got me, now? And then it takes the slow pathway. Now the slow pathway, as I've said, it has a short refractory period, meaning by the time the extra bit comes in, it's ready to conduct again because um, it has completed its refractiness. And then the, this impulse extra bit conducts, then goes down. And then, now look at this. It has conducted down the slow pathway, meaning conduction here is, is slow, right? 
and then as it conducts down here it gives time for the fast pathway to complete its refractory period so that by the time this impulse arrives here the fast pathway is ready to accept um, another beat or another impulse which means this impulse is now going to conduct that way and up right because the fast pathway is ready and then we've got an impulse here ready to conduct and then it goes that way and we call this retrograde conduction meaning it's occurring and um, anti-clockwise it's retrograde okay this is anti-grade or anterograde this is retrograde so it makes sense right this is delay so that this can complete its refractory period and then as it gets here it's able to conduct backwards and then goes up to the atria again and activates the atria right and then on your ecg you'll see negative p waves which shows that they are retrograde p waves okay but as it conducts up again the slow pathway is also now ready to conduct again because it has a short refractory period so what's gonna happen is that um, so there's your extra beat down the slow and then up the fast so it blocks here then it goes up the fast to the edge here and then when it gets here the slow pathway with a short refractory period is ready to accept um, another another impulse so it goes that way as well and then conducts down and by the time it gets here the first pathway is ready again and then it conducts so it forms that uh, circuit okay and that's how re-entry occurs simple as that right it's just as simple as that so um that's it that's basically it that's that's just what i wanted to teach you guys and i hope um i've made sense and i hope i really taught you something new today and um thank you uh thank you for your time